Today on Montana Dana, I head to the West Coast, clean everything in my van, including my body, and visit friends in LA, including my ex-boyfriend. Subscribe for more travel and quality van life content. Good morning, friends. I'm coming to you from Los Angeles. I've been traveling down south, obviously. I went to visit family in Palm Springs. And I haven't vlogged very much because I basically had a little Santee's workshop happening in my trailer. Look how cute these mommy and me beanies turned out. Oh my gosh. This is a new color I added. We're calling it Smarty Pants. Kind of looks like the Sparkle Pony one, but it's just pinks and purples. I really love I've it. I've also been away because I'm trying to reconstruct my channel just a little bit. I've noticed that the videos where I'm with a boyfriend or talking about boyfriend things, they get twice as many views. So I did a social experiment with the thumbnail and title of this video, and I want to see if it gets about double the views as my typical 10 to 13,000 views. Did you guys click on this video and you typically don't? I'm kind of having like an influencer identity crisis. I'm really trying to balance expressing myself creatively on this channel and then also doing the things that I know that will get me views so I can therefore eat next week. So yeah, little social experiment. Play around with this channel a little bit in the coming year, you guys will see. And I feel like you're my friends, so be real with me. If you like it, great. If you don't, I love constructive feedback. But today's just one of my normal vlogs, so back to the beanie foot. Thank you everybody for your beanie orders in November. Got everything packaged up and sent out. I hope you enjoy them and thank you so much for supporting me and my small business. I'm doing inventory today, making sure I know all the yarn I have. I keep getting orders, but then everyone's ordering the same colors, so I have to go buy new yarn. So I'm only selling the beanies I have in stock. I have three Candy Cane Lane beanies left. I've extended the Black Friday sales, so 25% off all the beanies until they're sold out. And then I'm gonna go digital for a while. Traveling with this much inventory has been a challenge. Like I literally had to drive 120 miles to pick up the certain yarn that I needed for certain beanie orders. It's been a little crazy. So just selling what I have in stock. And I want to make sure I'm still vlogging and doing all that fun stuff. So, so last call for beanies and they'll be made within a week and then shipped out to you. But my trailer has literally become a Santa's workshop and I have to get these all shipped out so I can sleep on my bed tonight. It's been great fun great fun. And recently an old friend from Los Angeles reached out to me because he's been doing some traveling. His name is Alex. He takes pretty photos like this and this and this. And he's roommates with my ex-boyfriend Ryan and I've just been in touch with them lately so I'm out here in LA visiting them. You know you're in a dude apartment when... I mean, I prefer a fiddly fig in the corner, but exercise equipment also works. It's very function over fashion, and I respect the game. Now, I hit the road two months ago. I got COVID, you guys all know. I was sick for like six or seven weeks, and then um, I got a bunch of crochet orders, so I've just been working, working, working. Just wanna get back in the routine of vlogging. Um, wanna take you guys with me. I'm giving myself the gift of a little bit of relaxation and travel. And I already feel like a brand new woman since being here. I got to take a bath. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone Check out these bath salts. So I found these bath salts in Target in Palm Springs. And I put out into the universe, universe, please put a bath in my future with Epsom salts. And I wasn't expecting to get a bath situation by coming here, but Ryan was kind, offered me his bathtub and I feel like a brand new woman. I also had a collection of dirty dishes piling up in my front seat. So I got to wash all of those. I've got my coffee in my pocket and I know. There we go, pocket coffee. You're not living until you've tried a pocket coffee. It doubles as a boob warmer. It's quite nice. Hot pockets. I eventually just gave up on using reusable mugs. And then I just get pocket coffees from Starbucks. The double is my pee cup later, so win win. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. So not only did this running water wash my dishes, it also cleansed my soul. It's been a rough couple months, guys. And being able to wash my things with running water brought some much needed optimism back into my life. And I got to do my laundry. This this is my ever so lovely laundry system. Come on, little guy. Oh, the stained clarinet always gets in the way. Yes, I do carry a clarinet. Whilst 
traveling the United States. It's highly important to me. Oh, you don't carry a glockenspiel and a flute while you're traveling the United States? That's weird. You don't bring your bear onesie with you? What a loser. Tambourine, fairy wings, we got those. Highly important while traveling the country. They've been sitting in there for about a month. But there's also reds in there. Let's do that, yes. What a glorious day. It's crazy the things you get excited about in van life. After being sick with COVID and then sitting in my car, becoming a literal spinster, I was slowly losing my will to live. But now, I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling, but clean body, clean dishes, clean undies. And I feel like I have hope again. A, just a general sense of it'll be okay. It was feeling like things would not be okay for quite some time there, so. Not only am I feeling okay, but my life is about to get luxurious because Brian has a bidet and I'm going to use his bidet for the first time ever using a bidet. But before I use the bidet, I'm gonna go clean up my van. I wanna show Ryan the van before he heads home for Christmas. I haven't really showed many people the trailer, so it'll be fun to like get it all Christmassy and cute, turn all the lights on and just give him a little mini tour. I'm so excited to be back in California because they not only have my favorite grocery store, which is Trader Joe's, but I found a Costco that carries my favorite breakfast item. <laughs> bacon egg bites. I'm saving about $150 a month on bacon egg bites by buying them at Costco. And guess what? I can just pop them in the microwave. It's amazing. It's so amazing. I've been searching for apartments. I don't know where, like I've been looking here in the LA area. It's very, very expensive without roommates. It's very, very expensive with roommates. I've been looking in Arizona and Utah. I'm so ready to be settled in an apartment somewhere and then travel on the weekends or go on like one or two week trips and then come home, recoup, do all my editing. Something that's been really tricky is my power station setup. Like if I'm gonna edit from my trailer, I always run out of energy because having a computer open for five hours editing, it, it just sucks all the battery out of my power stations and then I can't turn on my lights. So I either have to sit in a Starbucks or find somewhere to plug in. So it'll just be nice finding my own place. But for now, I'm just saving up money and trying to figure out my life and visiting people in the meantime. I actually bought a new Vito Man power station. I just wanna enjoy van life a little bit, like just accept I'm not gonna have an apartment for a while. How can I enjoy it to the best of my abilities right now? And one way to enjoy it is to eat some delicious egg bites. So let me go get those. Gonna go clean up and show Ryan the rig. He basically lives in a little magical fairyland. So I started my van life journey not only to travel, but to figure out where I want to move. I definitely know it needs to be somewhere sunny, so I was gravitating toward Utah or Arizona, but being here makes me want to move back to California. Pretty much perfect weather all year round, and I've been loving being around creative people who just kind of understand what I do, and it's been really inspiring. Oh yeah! I have so many egg bite options, and it's just so very exciting. One reason I'm so excited about getting an apartment is I'm just tired of mooching off of people. I hate it so much. My friends and family are always so sweet and lovely and gracious about it, but after a few days, it just feels less like, hey, I'm here to visit and a little more like, can I please use your indoor plumbing? It's an emergency. So I'm really excited to use this bidet thing, but are women supposed to use a bidet? Cause my question was like, doesn't it cause UTIs and just like spray poopy into the front hole? So Ryan is looking up some critical information. Oh yeah. He also said he would hold my hand while I use it, which is oh, nice. nice, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. That's very kind of you. Yeah. I feel like uh, we're there. Yeah. We have that level of trust we with do. each other. Yeah. And I would, uh, I also said that I would yield control if she wanted to use a, uh, turn the water on for me. Oh yeah, for you, yeah. Yeah. He'll let me spray his butthole and he'll hold my hand. Mm -hmm. What do you get out of this? <laughs> what do you mean what do I get out of this? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Win, win, win. Hi there. I had some, the same concern about poop water in my badge, so I asked my gynecologist about it, which I mean, want a professional's opinion. Uh, she said not to worry at all. It's not an issue. I've been using my bidet for almost a year now with no badge issues. Bidet away. <laughs> He's on Reddit trying to yeah. figure out the answer to this question. Like, okay. is it healthy and encouraged right. for a woman to use in the day? Mm. So I have also thought about the poop water conundrum myself. And I usually wipe as normal and then bidet just after to feel a little extra fresh and clean. That way I feel much better about any poop amoebas creeping around my vagina. <laughs> Not the poop amoeba. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a sentence I never thought I would say. <laughs> Not sure from your post if you have this, but the one that I have, you can change the angle of the spray, hot, lower or higher. We are not that yours. fancy. Here. You just have to shimmy. Or... Yeah, you gotta you gotta just kind of scoot, okay. scoot around, give it a little scoot nanny. Um, Do you have to clench so it doesn't like? It depends on the pr the the pressure. It depends on the setting that you use. Um, would you let me turn it all the way to high? Absolutely not. No, because it would end up coming out of my mouth. <laughs> um, it seems like this is a this is this is a, a a real option here. You know. Should I do it? I I think so. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? Think she should do it, she right? Should try it. I mean, I've been doing van life for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. This sounds pretty luxurious. Yeah, you could do it. Okay. Donna. 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 So it's like a bidet that goes into your toilet. This is too much bidet information. I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it's scary. So I just turn it to one of the dots, right? Yeah, but go super slow. <laughs> I feel like I need to see how hard it sprays before I actually do it. Just, go, just do it super slow, you'll be good. <laughs> how do I know if it's pointing in the right spot? You'll, you'll find out. <laughs> I can't do it. It's not doing anything. Go faster. <laughs> Turn it up a little. <laughs> oh my god. my bum hole went numb. It was cold. You know how when you like ice your your ankle and then you can't feel I your ankle? I thought you were gonna say how you ice your asshole. <laughs> you know how like, you- No, I don't know what that's- Like, you know when you stick an ice cube up your ass? <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> oh, it was awful, I hated it. Really? Yeah. Oh no. But it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. That's what she said. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of a learning curve. It, it didn't feel luxurious, so it felt a yeah. little violating. Well, this isn't luxurious. This is like the entry level. Mm. If it had warm water, it'd probably be amazing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and also like having a, a dryer, like the air yeah. dry would be nice. Yeah, because uh, you still kind of have to pat dry. The sound of your reaction <laughs> was exactly what I expected. It was like a high A sharp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got a bit distracted by the bidet situation. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish cleaning my trailer and then give Ryan the grand tour. Aren't you happy you tuned into this Vlogmas episode so you could hear me talking about my butthole for 10 minutes? It's quality. Okay, I can hear their voices. Alex and Ryan are gonna come check out the place. It's all clean, candles are lit, it's all Christmas. <laughs> Will you sign the waiver? Let me unlock it real quick. <laughs> There we go. Hello. Come on in. This is fun. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> That's perfect. That's mm. nice. Yeah. Um, so I just, I turned the camera off because I don't want to like shove a camera in their face, but. Oh, we oh. have to talk. Uh. <laughs> I didn't think this uh. through. <laughs> so I don't know if we're the best sample group for this test, but uh, for this tiny space looks way better in every way than my entire condo does. Yeah. I don't know if that's a, says more about Dana or I, more about us, but. Yeah, I showed them your condo earlier. Yeah, yeah. then they already know. There's more decoration on your piano than there is <laughs> in our entire place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you can very clearly see that somebody came through this and was like, how do I make this look nice? <laughs> and you can also very clearly see in our spot that nobody ever thought that. <laughs> it was just 
what works for the things what that have to happen is here. functional. And then yeah. also, I put a three foot image of me and Alex dressed like Mario and Luigi. Oh, yeah. I have not shown them that yeah. yet. Oh, nothing. Just coming inside for a little whistle and oh, hello, guys. How's it going? Why do I feel like they're staring at me? Yes, I get to look directly into Ryan's eyes while I urinate. It's great fun. So that's really the only, that's really the only decorative yeah. piece that we have. I just walked around your apartment. I was like, this is how you know dudes live here without saying dudes live here. <laughs> There's like a football poster, which I think is ironic because yes. I don't it's feel like you guys. It's generically yeah. uh, the playoffs like, for football. Yeah. The most quintessential like dude thing mm -hmm. in there is, is it even there in seriousness? Yeah, no. It's, it's mm -hmm. ironic. Yeah, I, I, I could see <laughs> irony in that. The Optimus Le Prime. The is Legos I think is for real. Genuine, that's genuine. That's real. That's and you. then the X-Men, no, it's an Avengers calendar yep that that's real and the fitness real. stuff in the corner that's legit that's also legit. yeah but the football poster is like that's for funny we do that's like football funnies. but it's ironic yeah okay and then alex ha if you guys want a cool like really really well done youtube channel he is a photographer but he also makes youtube videos so what's oh. your what's your youtube channel yeah my channel is a vex media photo and yeah. uh yeah travel around really and take pictures good. of stuff and go places yeah Follow him on Instagram too. Wait, let me show up close the uh, the faxy photo. Now we're gonna go get food because we're all hangry. This is so cute. It matches my aesthetic. It's like he knew. It kind of. I mean, that was a it's happy beautiful. accident, but like, yeah, yeah, that that matches perfectly like the color palette in here. You guys look cozy in here. You should come I hang. Feel, I feel Just cozy. Like, he wanted to go get food, and I'm like, I kind of want to take a nap. Oh, you're gonna okay. you're gonna probably find this to be like one of those movie moments later where like you're driving around and you open the door and we just were in like we were stowaways. <laughs> like, we were just still in here. here. Yeah. We open the door in like Wyoming or something. <laughs> and we should do a trip together <laughs> though, for real. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey guys. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some grub. We went and got ramen and we were talking about how it's good etiquette to slurp your soup. Don't watch me eat my noodles. Okay. <laughs> we just ate ramen. Something I miss about living in LA so much is the food. Ramen, Indian, Thai, all the sushi. I really want to get sushi. I get to eat all the yummy foods. I really wish they put like green hatch rooftops on here. It's very, very cute. It's all lit up at night. There's like little squirrels running around. Except for that one asshole squirrel, freaking James. Hello. So James is claiming his territory. Like he wouldn't let me cross the sidewalk earlier today. You good? All of the other squirrels were totally fine. Super chill. What bro? But I was actually legitimately afraid of this squirrel. So I called Ryan and I was like, hey Ryan, can you come out? And at least if this squirrel attacks me, somebody will be there to witness it and or get hilarious video footage of it. Like I swear if I walk over there, he's gonna pounce on me. Hey. <laughs> and now I'm making the dog mad. Do they like pounce on people? They do, right? I don't know. You went and got nuts. Can I have one? Uh. Don't, don't, don't lure him towards you. Nuts! Ooh, yummy. I'm like afraid to walk right there. It's not gonna pounce on me, right? <laughs> like who's afraid of who? I don't know. We're good. Okay. That's the most aggressive he, squirrel I've ever seen. I know, he followed me all the way down too and I was like, get away. Enjoy your almond ass. Ryan literally saved me from that squirrel. He brought out some trail mix with almonds. Doesn't this feel like a little magical fairy forest? I love it. I love the squiggly sidewalks. I don't know, squiggly sidewalks. Just do it for me. Ryan cooked the first meal in the oh house. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. I give me a little more credit than that. Mmm, schnossages. Listen, I can do more, but I'm about to leave for a trip, mm -hmm. and I don't. I've like I don't have much. 
The sausage I'm not worried about. It's the sauces that'll make or break this meal yeah. for okay. me. Okay, so we've got, I never know how to say sweet, sriracha, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with barbecue sauce. Okay, keep going, keep going. <laughs> we've got Thai ginger. Mm -hmm. We've got general, there's like a Asian theme going on here. We've got general so, general sow, stir fry sauce. Mm -hmm. We've got standard barbecue, just, you know, I like barbecue. Kansas yeah. City? Yeah, Kansas City barbecue. Okay. Kansas City barbecue. You have mayo. Mayo, are you kidding me? Oh, I love mayo. Ugh, yuck. Wow. Got some, yeah, got some Thai curry. Okay. Uh, or got some taco sauce. You don't want any of this, you just want the barbecue sauce. It's fine. I just want to keep putting the sausage on you that looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, just brushing my teeth. Do not let the California sun fool you. It is still chilly at night. Ryan and I watched the Weird Al Yankovic documentary. It was really funny. It was good. Did any of you listen to Weird Al Yankovic growing up? Because I know I did. When we were driving around in the car, my friends listened to NSYNC and Backstreet Boys to annoy me and I listened to Weird Al Yankovic to annoy them. I mean, I loved NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, but it was like a non-stop, all day, every day sort of thing. You can only buy, 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 baby, like so many times before you want to blow your brains out. But if you made it this far in the video, write pocket coffee down in the comments. Gotta love pocket coffee. Men don't get to carry a purse. I see why they have the shirts with the pockets. I've been putting my keys in here, my phone in here. It's just easily accessible. Pocket coffee, get yours today for the low, low price of free 99. Found this in storage, so it was basically free. So this is kind of my nighttime routine. That is my toothbrush box. I got these battery powered candles and I'm actually really, really loving them because I can set them on a timer and they turn off after two hours. So I just set it and forget it and go to bed. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. Don't forget to go follow Alex's channel. And yeah, thanks for hanging out.